Hi everyone. So in this video we will learn how to check if password is matching or not in two input boxes using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. And the script file at the bottom which is script.js. Need one div element, two input elements, type will be password. This folder will be enter password. Give it a ID of pass one. Just copy and paste it. Make it confirm password. Make it two. Now we need one HTML element. Let's make it result. Save it. Go to style sheet. Select body element, text align will be center. Select div element, display will be inline block. Select input element, display will be inline block. Padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel. I think it should be block, not inline block. Margin top will be 10 pixels. Save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. Now let's try to understand how to actually work. I will enter password in both the fields. If they are matching, I want to show matching here. If they are not matching, I want to show not matching. So let's go to JavaScript file. Select the input elements. So let's make it pass one. In the document dot query selector and we'll select it by the ID. Just copy and paste. Get to same goes here. Select the actual element. Let's make it result. Now we need a function to check the password. And here we'll check if pass one dot value is equal to pass two dot value. So if it is equal, I want to show matching. If it is not equal, I want to show not matching. Now we need to add event listener to the input elements. Event will be key up. Is the handler function so if pass to dot value dot length is not equal to zero I want to call this check password method just copy and paste it make it two so when we are typing in this field I want to call this method check password. That's it. I just save it. Go to browser. Let's type one, two, three, four, five. Same goes here. One, two, three, four, five. So it's matching. Let me change it here. We are getting not matching. Let's make it five again. So we are getting matching. So this is all what you need a function and the key up event. So that's it. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.